Hi everyone. Today I will show you the DLFA MASM module automation system equipment. The device consists of the following modules. The first part is PLC. It plays a process control role in the equipment. PLC uses Mitsubishi FX3GA. The second part is the power module. It's responsible for powering PLC solenoid value, trick color lights, and so on. The third part is the button sensor module. The button is responsible for the start, stop, reset, and emergency stop of the equipment operation process. Above is the indicator light of the sensor. If the sensor is in place, the corresponding indicator will light up. The platform has the following components. The first part is the cylinder. The device has four cylinders. One, two, three, four. The first one is the feed cylinder, responsible for feeding. The second is the pusher cylinder, responsible for pushing the finished workpiece onto the belt. The third is sorting cylinder. The equipment is equipped with three different material blocks, black material block, mantle material block, red material block. Programming through PLC carry out a material sorting. Now the program is written. Divide mantle block into good material boxes, red and black material pieces enter the waste box. The force is a dual axis cylinder. He pushes the polishing motor to the lower position of polishing. The device also has two DC motors. The first motor is a road of transmission, transfer the material block. The second motor is responsible for polishing, responsible for the simulation of grading blocks. There is also a three-color light, red, yellow, green. A three-color light is responsible for warming our equipment in what state? Such as operation of failure. Now we show the equipment. The device is equipped with the European standard 3 hole socket with air pump. First, connect the equipment and air pump to the power supply. Red is the air pump switch. There are two stages lift and press. Lifting is in working condition, stop state when pressed. There is also a red knob switch. The device line is connected in advanced. We don't plan to show too much about how the equipment works. First, turn on the power module switch. The sensor indicator light is on. Turn on the PLC switch. Wait a moment. First, press the emergency stop and lift. Press the reset button. Put the block into the barrel. At this time, the three color light is flashing green. Press the start button. Turn on the barometer switch.
system stop. The whole machine and operation process is like this. Next, I will explain the precaution of the equipment. Said before, the air pump has two states, pressed and raised states. When the equipment is running, the air pump should be in raised state. The red knob switch should be turned on vertically. The airflow of the air pump can be displayed here. Foot of gas is about 0.7 MPa. There is a barometer on the device. Lift value can adjust the air intake. There is also a blue value normally open on right. There are also various sensors on the device, such as this fiber optic sensor. He is responsible for tracking whether there is a material in the silo. Teach everyone how to adjust. Open it first. No material in the silo. The in-detect light is off. Put the material in, the indicator light is on. So how to adjust? There is a knob in this place. For example, if there is a material in the silo, the indicator light is off. You need to increase the sensor sensitivity. The indicator light is on after the increase. Demonstrate again. Put the black material block. Light does not shine. Continue to increase the sensitivity. To ensure that all three pieces of material can be detected. Because the equipment has three different blocks, black, red mantle, what sensor is used to detect the color of these blocks? There are three sensors here. They are photoelectric sensor, captive sensor, and inductive sensor. They are sensors of material sorting. The material block passes the intact light is on. How to adjust? If there is a piece of red material, if the red material passed by, the sensor doesn't detect. There are two ways to adjust. The first is to move the sensor forward, get closer to the material block, so that the block can be detected when it passed. Secure with screws after detections. Must be tightened. Here you can also adjust the sensitive of the sensor. There is a one screw here. If the block that is not detected, adjust the sensitively until the indicator light up. Same adjustment method for photoelectric sensors. If photoelectric sensor is a weight block, you can move the sensor forward. You can also adjust the knob above, increase sensitivity. There is also a magnetic switch. The magnetic switch is a sensor that detects whether the cylinder reaches the position. If the cylinder is pushed out, it will be not detected. 
What is his principle? There is a magnetic object in the cylinder. After reaching the position, it detects magnetism. After reaching the position, it can detect. How to adjust? Unscrew the screw. He is responsible for fixing the sensor. For example, it cannot detect in this position. You need to manually push forward until it is detected. Screw the screw. Close the cover after adjustment. There are also two current collectors here. They are responsible for c controlling the two motors. K1 control transmission motors. There is a blue mandatory button. Push it out and force it to run. Same principle of K2 drawing motor.